Well, hey, Capricorn, how about a little advice for this retrograde season? And for your full moon, let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to use the Moon Witch Tarot. We'll ask a bunch of questions. We'll clarify. Let's see what's happening. First of all, I'm going to pull a card to get an overall feel here from the Tarot of the She. S-I-D-H-E. I cannot resist smelling. <laughs> okay. Wow. The star. This is a card of Aquarius. It is a card of healing, of wish fulfillment. You are divinely supported. You can see that whatever is that being blown towards you from out there. Beautiful. I'm excited to see what's going on with you cappies. Okay, what's going on on the bottom of this underlying energy is the just, you know, really big energy. The Empress. Earth herself, that's your element. This is a very, I always kind of think of Cancer, but your fellow cardinal sign, but this is a very loving, nurturing, abundant energy of sovereignty, creation. You can see the glyph there in her womb, signifying that ability to reproduce and create. These are very powerful energies of the star, the empress, and then a very earthy, practical maker six, generosity. Um, you can see the she as tree, the great tree, this apple tree, quirt. And then we see the fairy or the human. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look um, at this here. I like to think, yeah, with the ear, I'm going to say that is a... A she, our, our fairy, picking an apple here. A little reference to Eve. And interestingly, we do see the tree is also actually handing an apple. And then the fairy chooses a different one. So this is about receiving and it's about giving. And it sometimes reminds us in its more traditional form to, that there needs to be... Um, a balancing of an unequal relationship. It always makes me think about that. So really quickly looking at the, the this, this is the Tarot of the She. This, it has a really fantastic guidebook. Um, the artist channeled a message for each one of these cards and I find it useful to share them. If you get bored, go ahead and jump ahead and we'll get into the reading here. Um, after I look at this. So the star. So this is the star. I have seen you so often cast your eyes above in search of my light, in search of hope and answers in the dark. Look but within and you may find your own sweet candle of radiant light, eternal as any star in the infinite sky of self. I am the mirror of your beauty. I am the substance of your soul. I am the six-fingered messenger of the light, and I see hope in your darkest secrets. Burn brightly, star seed, shine true. Do not hide the rare beauty that is your talent, and do not fear your own divinity. I am the truth that remains when the tower falls. I am hope, and I am healing. No cloak can hide my brilliance, and I am here to show you that you too can shine. Within and through my eyes you pass into your true inheritance. We are one, we are all, we are divine. Just a little powerful and awesome. Let's see, the Empress, what would she add to this? So that star, that kind of call from, from the divine to recognize the light within and to see that yourself mirrored in the cosmos is very powerful. And then the Empress, also very powerful and positive. And maybe this is what you may see here because it says, you know, as you look up in the sky and you see yourself reflected here, this is what this the Empress says. I am the glorious night sky. And I am the earth beneath your feet. I am the mother of all. My name is given freely. You may call me Danu, mother, Empress, yes, but you may also know me as your creatrix self. Life pours bountifully from my womb to bring beauty, support, and nourishment to all. Be in no rush to reveal all at once. Be free and let life find its own pace. 
You are a child growing within my womb. I will support you and bring you all sustenance that you may bring the same to others. I'm the font of creativity. I'm the core of the gestation. I am the spring growth and its journey to the harvest. I am patience and I am fruition's re reward. In me you will find the fertile ground in which to plant your seed and the gentle patience to watch it grow to abundance. You are safe in my hands as you grow and journey towards completeness. Through my womb lies your wounded, your wi winding path. Wow, so you are very, very, very divinely supported. And in particular, I see artfulness here. And then I also see a shift in the way that I think tend to think of you Capricorns as very serious and dedicated and disciplined. And I don't know about you, but I always find this season, cancer season, to be just very much a slowing down and, and a loosening. And it's really difficult for me to be disciplined. I feel like this is actually suggesting to you to try a different way of creating, um, not by forcing and not by discipline and not, you know, and in a way, like if I relax into it, it's more fun than being so serious and, and strict with myself, but take or leave that Capricorn. There, you know, we have our nature, and uh, your nature is, um, there's nothing wrong with it. This is just an invitation, and you are divinely supported here in whatever creative work you are doing. So let's look, we're going to ask some questions. When I said at the beginning that it, this is a season of retrogrades, we have Pluto, our transformer, Scorpio energy, we have Saturn, our rules and our regulations and that kind of earthy disciplinarian energy and we also currently have neptune that dreamy imaginative spiritual side and soon venus will also go in retrograde so all four of these planets are going and reviewing and so theoretically so are you we'll ask about that we're also going to get you some usual advice and a glimpse into the future so let's see what's going on here it looks fantastic beautiful so what you want to release is a page of wands page of wands that fiery willpower that it's a message it's a young message it's an outsider message um you can see that referenced here with the pyramids unless you're from egypt um, this is the voice of someone that comes from outside who tells you what, you know, who sees your world um, from the outside. So this may be you that you've been speaking as, as this. I, I always talk about this as a queer card and that queer means a relation to the norms, which is outside of the norms. So you can really see from the outside. And so that it may be that you've been seeing and communicating from an outside perspective, Capricorn. It's an exertion of will, fire, the wands. Um, so what do we want to do instead now? What is Capricorn? Wow, you have taken, you have found other people. That's what I say. Four of wands. There's four of you. It's a party. It's your heart people, the people that get you. It's a love match. It's a soulmate connection. It is about authenticity. Beautiful. So my dear, we have... A release of this solitary outsider voice into an embrace of like it's like you found your people um, which is I feel like there's like a little blurriness on. Uh oh just a glimpse into my living room <laughs> okay um, uh, that was an interesting moment all right so I hope this video is clear enough I think it's a little less foggy all right, so Capricorn, that I like this. You're going into community here from solitude, from the outside. And what we do is we, we queer folk, we outsiders, we find one another and we come together and we, and we build, begin to build and envision from the outside. And that's what we see here in the structure of the Four of Wands. Whether you're making a family, a partnership, a little revolution, 
It's a, it seems very loving because we have the star. And I think that, that the star is talking about that insight that you have as an outsider. Um, and that this is, there is something very healing within you. And the Empress, I feel, is, your, is when you find your heart people. And, and then you you feel held within this community. And, and then you're allowed to thrive. And we have that give and take feeling here. So if you've been on your own, Capricorn, it looks like you're coming into um, working and being with others, people like you. Okay, what you are reviewing in this time of retrograde. Your very nature, the king of pentacles, that maturity, that security, that abundance. I love the grace with which this king of pentacles sits here. I feel that they are holding a gift. It seems to me that you really came into yourself recently. So if we, we just had this full moon in Capricorn, and you might think back six months ago to... Um, a wish you might have made on the new moon in Capricorn. Um, it would have been, I feel like it's January. It would have been January, February. Now, what were you working on then? It can be a little bit hard to remember. Um, but in recent, in recent months, you really got comfortable in your earthiness. And it just, it looks like you've been very comfortable in your skin. Which may be a, a part of why it becomes possible for you to be recognized and to find soulmate connections and friendships and, and to really celebrate something that you have built. Um, all right. What does the tarot want you to know that is hidden from you? Hmm. There are some who feel left out. Five of Pentacles. You are not thinking about this at the moment, Capricorn. Or maybe there's some part of you that is feeling left out. We will clarify. It's a very, very opposite energy from what we've been seeing here so far. It's a very sad, lonely, can even be self-pitying energy. And then, and the message of Five of Pentacles is you feel left out. I mean, this is a left out person who finds power and message from being left out. Um, what are you not noticing about that? Is it is there some part of you that you have kind of pushed down that feels sad, hurt, lonely? Um, this will be something that's worth looking at if it's in you. In, in that if you don't see it and you don't recognize it, it, can, it will still act in your life. And so if you're feeling um, like you've like kind of, with your amazing discipline said, well, oh well, I'm weird. Um, I'm going to just speak from this weirdness and own this, like to also know that this is, that there's loneliness, there's a story in, in you somewhere. Um, and then maybe you just need to give yourself a little sympathy and tenderness here. Um, you know, make sure that this is an authentic state that you're in. Because this, what you're meant to embrace, is authenticity. You can't build this four of wands without being true to who you really are and not disavowing any part of yourself. Okay, the star is making me ask again and again, what's inside of you that you, that you can recognize as a gift? And so this may very well be a gift. And so that gets us to the other part and the other meaning of this card, which can be you have experienced being an outsider. You've morphed into this page of wands. You've come up with a powerful message that comes from that sensation of feeling outside. What also comes with that is compassion. When you have experienced suffering, you can have more compassion for other people's suffering. And so look around for other people who might be in a Five of Pentacles state. When you're standing outside that church here, it's like a spiritual place. Um, it's 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 coming in here actually as a portal. You can walk in, walk through that portal into a whole other world. This might be the world that you walk into, right? If you go through here, look at there's the same two people, and now they're really close, right? So you walk through this portal. The problem is, you have to see it, and the, so fives are 
as Jodorowsky teaches, a passageway. They're a portal. They're an opportunity to shift from for me to, oh, wow, that experience has really shaped me and given me purpose um, and certainly compassion. So what's the future for Capricorn? Oh, boy, we have a tower. Okay, some kind of surprise in your future. There, if, there is going to be a collective tower. I'm seeing it in readings. There's a big tower coming in. Huh. Um, it doesn't have to be bad. It could be a very positive thing. It looks pretty bad here. <laughs> I mean, it looks sharp and painful and dark. So it might feel this way. You know, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm all... It's, Tower is some of my Scorpio energy, so I'm always wanting to, like, I know for a fact that every ending results in a new beginning. The phoenix rises from the ashes of the fire. But this looks very sharp. This, this, this where you're landing, it's sharp. Um, there's a kind of grace with which these people fall from this tower that um, it's almost like maybe they will... <laughs> not hit that sharp ice um so a tower we will we will ask more but the tower in the future is a surprise it's something that is built on a shaky foundation that needs to come down cancer had a tower as well um you can anticipate a tower by coming to terms with something that's wrong um, from a collective level this is what's wrong in the world. And this also represents a, a problem of hierarchy of some have a lot and some need a lot. Um, so there is something here that to me is a shaky foundation, inequality. Um, and that could be in your little local life or in the larger scale. Um, I guess I say the collective is in, we're going to have a shared shock is what the tower is telling me in this weekend's readings so we'll ask more questions about that but i'm i'm anticipating that we're gonna all have a tower and we're all gonna go through it together and it's gonna feel different for each of us um so well well let's see okay what do we have underneath the surface one card the queen of cups this is a heart card, it's a feelings card, it's a card of the season of cancer. Sitting here by the water, feeling your feelings. The Queen of Cups is very emotionally intelligent and she's also open about her feelings. She talks about her feelings. There's a lot of nurturing feminine energy with the Empress, the Star, the Queen of Cups here. So let's clarify. What do we want to clarify with? Hmm. I want to clarify with this one. Okay. This is, I can't think of the name of this deck. Tarot of the, it's like the old way. Anyway, I think it might be the Tarot of the old way. Anyway, he wants to talk to you, Capricorn. Okay, let's clarify. So you are releasing the beautiful page of wands energy. I think it's solitude, but let's see. Let's see. I see you coming into community. And then I see a tower. <laughs> what have you been doing? There's your king of pentacles. This was this was what we've reviewed in pentacle, king of pentacles. That's earth, that's your energy. That's really coming into your maturity. And there's that five of pentacles, right? That's what happens here. Okay. Let's... The king is turning his back to the five of pentacles there. Okay. And then there is the ace, a new exciting idea. It's a, it's a wand. It's fire. It's like creativity. It's a spark. It's, um, and then I think it's important when I notice that it's happening in front of Stonehenge here. There's a kind of ancient, 
um, knowledge or creative genius, a spark that's coming from the ancient world. It's very transformative. Um, this is what the Page of Wands brings here. So what, what's happening here is that this Page of Wands has brought in this old idea that challenges the King of Pentacles who turns his back on those who are left out of abundance. Um, in your little life, in your local world, you as an individual Capricorn, you have a message that comes from your experience. I think we already talked about this. It's as if that you've already gone through this and having gone through that, it's like in the past, it's behind you. Now you're the King of Pentacles. You're wise for it. Um, you have, from that experience, you do have this wand, this fire. Um, and it's it defines you, but it also looks like you've been carrying it alone, right? So now we see that the time of carrying that alone is passing away, and it's time to embrace the way that you can build with four other people who have wands. You can build with others. Let's see. That was a six and an eight of cauldrons or cups. Okay. I just wanted to shuffle there. Okay. The nine of cauldrons. There is wish fulfillment and contentment. We saw that with the star. The wise one, the hermit. There's your inner light. Your, your, again, you can see that wand that's being carried. You can see the hermit opening the cloak. The light within, it's like a fire. This is your inner knowledge, your inner knowing that comes from your personal history. The hermit, or in this case, the wise one, knows how to make sense of their personal story, um, and to find light and insight in it. And that's what all, we've been getting that message very clearly from, from you, Capricorn, that you have some experience a light inside of you that that is the result of that experience. It looks like it might have been painful, but it's also like the Empress, very abundant. You can see like a waterfall coming. There's a cute little bunny rabbit that's like drawn to your wand. This this swan that you picked up here recently. Um, so it's still very solitary energy. And then the sun. This is, again, authenticity. You can see there's two people here. We see the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is your happiness, your wish fulfillment. is built on authenticity. So whatever that vision is, like the four of wands is coming in to me as like, you've manifested a vision for yourself. You know what that is, Capricorn. And we can see that it is coming in. This is what you were asked to embrace is your wish fulfillment and it seems to be coming from within you and I'm going to say that others are recognizing that light within you but you're also it's a reciprocal recognition you recognize them they recognize you and you find yourselves together in this really beautiful authenticity where you get to be yourselves but you're also loved for being yourself and that's part of why you get to be yourself and it's it's beautiful. Okay. It's like I name these readings after I after I film them based on what message comes through and I, and like what I title the readings it you know people if I name this a wish come true. I could write there. That's what I just told you. The wish a wish coming true. Whatever that wish is is coming true. You know, I have a thousand viewers of an Aquarius reading called that. Uh, I was just thinking about marketing. <laughs> and I, whatever. I, I let the title come in just as the cards message do. So a dream come true. That's where we're at. So what's happened recently that brought you really comfortable into your skin? Let's see. You're reviewing this. Hmm, the high priest. This is structural power. It's the Hierophant, the Pope. But it's also history in the larger sense, tradition. And it could be a teacher. So it may be that you recently had took on a teacher. 
The Knight of Pentacles. There's your, more of your dedicated, hardworking energy. The Slowpoke Knight. He's a good student. It takes a long time, but he makes it happen one step at a time. And then the Page of Pentacles. A younger energy. Very practical and grounded. Lots of your element. Earth here, Capricorn. It's uh, recently, and this is what, what's happening here, you're not alone because other people have been following this path. Um, and there are different stations in life, different ages, but you all have this very um, traditional style of, and you've, and you've found one another and decided to embrace that you have this earthy empress historical, traditional, steadfast discipline in common. And you're quite comfortable in it because you spoke as if from the outside, and then in speaking from the outside, you found your you found others like you. Um, and so here you are at this Four of Wands with these others. You, you, you recognize one another. You see yourself in them, and this is making you very happy. And that's what you're reviewing right now, and it's quite lovely. So what are you not seeing here? There's something here about this Five of Pentacles. We see this under the Page of Wands. We saw that that this poor little sad couple with the wounds. And there's a there's some money growing on trees, but they're not seeing it, right? So let's see here. So the Five of Pentacles under what's hidden from you. It is about not seeing, but you seem to have so much abundance. So what are you not seeing? Or what's this? Okay. Ten of Rods. There was a burden. There is a burden. You can put it down. What's this burden? The guide. Hmm. Temperance. A lot of waiting and slow, earthy energy. The guide is more divine support. It's about, you know, this, this, um, you can see the gesture of the angel pouring water. That's your feelings. You can see the witches there. These are divine support. And this man has brought this woman who has passed out. She's heavy too. So I'm thinking about how this Ten of Rods is that we just got. Ten of Wands is about putting down a burden that you have like committed to with your willpower. Um, again, very that, that brings up for me my sense of Capricorn. So the guide is that you have to alchemize. You have to really like work through your feelings here. Um, this is, there's some kind of burden that you get to put down and there's resistance, more willpower. Seven of wands or rods in this deck. This big fiery bearded physical resistance. Hmm. So you can change, there's something hidden from you here. It looks like a burden. It's taking time to see it. And you've really carried this burden for a long time. There's resistance. I think that, how are you resisting? It's like you're resisting seeing something. You're, is there a stuckness to you? I can see why you want to stay where you are, Capricorn. Actually, don't see why not stay where you are, other than that we have a tower ahead. The tower tells me, and the Five of Pentacles is the, the warning here, that there is something that you're not seeing, that you resist seeing, and it's got you stuck. And it's, it's so, like, you're comfortable in your skin, but it, I think what it says is, your dream's coming true. The sun is, is here. You're supposed to embrace this. But the, what's preventing you from that and keeping you outside of that is that you're refusing to see something. And it's the thing that causes the tower in your future here. So let's see what that... Let me, let me find out about this tower here. So there's that Six of Pentacles again, right? So we had, this is here twice. It makes me think of hierarchy 
I'm your reader. The cards speak to me and how I understand them. Let's, let's see what else. Page of Swords. Open-mindedness, curiosity, and the High Priestess. Beautiful, mysterious. There's something we don't know. She's very much of the of the earth, of nature, like the Empress here. I mean, the first thing that comes into me is it's again, it's a much more collective message and it feels kind of obvious which is like we have a problem of hierarchy the social media association that we have with the page of swords like this is is causing is there's going to be a tower because of hierarchy and the way that social media causes us to use truth in a way that's very immature um but then what we see is there's also something that comes out of this, which we cannot see. The high priestess speaks to us of the unknown of mysteries and secrets. She's also something that you may intuitively know already. Um, you intuitively know this already. Who doesn't know that hierarchy is a problem in social media? We all know this, right? So there's something more... There's a, a crisis coming. So that's on a large scale. So in, in your personal life, look around for inequity. Look around for, um, be careful of how you use words um, and trust your gut. Um, these are the things that will carry you through this tower. There's something that has to come down. It's something to do with poverty. You're resisting knowing this. Why are you resisting knowing this? You're appearing here as a king of pentacles. You have found other pentacle people, other people that are very practical, that think like you, that fit in with you. There's something, a burden, it feels like a burden. So it's gonna feel good to put it down. You're just mulling it over. And you're, and you're, there's divine support to help you see this. Hmm. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Hmm. The truth. The nine of rods, the three of pentacles. Oh, dying. There's so much. <laughs> I will show you all of it. Okay. If you're further curious about what's going on in here. Yes, there is something that you need to to see that you're resisting seeing that ace of swords it's just not a comfortable thing to know and it's the thing that it's just why the tower is going to happen right so we can see like the willpower exerted the exhaustion the struggle this is right before the ten of wands this is all that you've put into something here so i get it. i feel like there's a commitment and there's like that that discipline that i think of you having capricorn that, that you're gonna just keep on going and you're almost there. Uh, we see a three of pentacles. Again, work pentacles energy, but this is about working with others. We do see all these pen this pentacle family here on the table. The only one missing is the queen of pentacles. Um, but we've got the page, the knight, and the king here on the table and the empress is here like she is very similar to the queen of pentacles um she's less needy um she's less needing of a partnership or of a family and she's but she is very motherly um there is a broken heart there is ideas that kill this is a story here where of a threesome and one man has prevailed over the other for this woman. Um, and she's sad about it. It's like her her boyfriend got murdered by her husband kind of feeling here. So so within this little Four of Wands world that you created, there is, there is definitely someone is feeling pain. And then I feel like you don't want to know that. Because then you can have what you have because you're not knowing that it's coming at a cost to others. So if we have the tower, we also have the card of death. And the death card is already suggested to me when I see the phoenix here, because the phoenix 
rises from the ashes of the tower of death. It's a, it's a new beginning. Um, this, the close here, this card is, it's very much about cycles of nature, birth and death, and it's natural. Um, it's transformative. It's like very much dust to dust feeling of acceptance of the violence of the world and that from that violence and from the losses that we feel and the pain that we suffer as a result of death there is rebirth so the tower in the future we can see this coming out of it so that speaks to me of that of that this inevitable ending the shock that, that is ahead to what you have built which is the cards aren't saying it's bad. It's just saying enjoy it, embrace it while it lasts because there's an ending in the future. It looks like an ending to this. This is Aries, your fellow cardinal sign, the emperor. This is about very traditional structural power, right? You seem to be aligned with that here. Um, more. Here's your soulmate connection. This is justice, this is balance, this is a meeting of equals. That's, that's what we're seeing in this Four of Wands here. And we have two more kings. This is a very mature energy, Capricorn. We have the King of Cups. And remember, we also had the Queen of Cups here. So this is a, there is a soulmate connection here. Um, this is a part of why you don't want to see. It's like there's a story of love here. And it's like kind of a new love. Like you've been alone and then you found your person. And so we can get quite selfish and distracted from the larger world. Um, but you will return to that truth. It is actually the truth that brought you together. And the, the King of Swords tells me that, that like you will return to your wisdom from this beautiful love affair that you're having, where you're gonna get really caught up in, in the sun. This, this is wish fulfillment happening for you. You're finding your match, it's beautiful. Um, but it's happening really in the context of history and of something that you're also actually meeting the soulmate in the context of this larger historical process, um, where you are bringing a truth, you're bringing a fiery, creative, there's something that you two do together. Um, so that's the King of Swords, it's who is the one who knows how to use the truth with heart, wisely and compassionately. There's something here that I've felt throughout this Capricorn which is that you're, you've left behind a time of feeling like the weirdo and, and left out and abandoned. And you've really come into love, into community, into your, you found your kind. Um, and, and I think the cards are saying, enjoy this while it lasts because there's a tower coming. And when the tower comes, you all you're from you're in a community that has the answer to that and that and that you'll get through that something beautiful will come out of it and that is your very beautiful reading capricorn let me know i hope this helps you have a wonderful day